Uh, I'm Father Kurt Dwyer. I'm the brand new Second Bat Chaplain, and so I'm in my brand new Second Bat Chaplain office. Just a quick thought today regarding optimism, positivity. Sometimes we're encouraged to be optimistic, and there's a sense in which that's very true. We need to seek to see what is best and positive, um, but that can actually be a fairly thin foundation, right, as far as being positive. We know that sometimes things just aren't good. Their struggles uh, can be very real sometimes. And so uh, we are reminded, though, that our uh, optimism, our positivity, our looking forward to the future is not based on how great things are, but really just based on our faith. And so, as St. Paul says, that we rejoice, we are to rejoice in our sufferings because sufferings lead to perseverance and perseverance to character and character to hope. And hope, he says, does not disappoint. And so really, it's, we rejoice in our sufferings, strange as that might sound, because when we add faith to that, we know that God transforms that into perseverance and then character and then finally hope. And so let us uh, say a prayer and offering to our Lord those things with which we, we may be struggling right now, knowing that they are the actual means by which you and I find um, our real positivity and our hope going forward. And so let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we offer to you all the crosses that we bear, the things that we may be suffering, the questions, the things that are unresolved in our hearts those challenging situations or people or scenarios um, with which we are at this point confronted. Lord, help us to meet all these with faith, knowing that you then transform these crosses into hope, that our positive regard for the future is based not on uh, sort of a refusal to look at the negative part of life, rather though it's based on our faith and conviction that you transform all of our crosses into a resurrection, that it is you, Lord, who bring uh, light out of darkness and positivity out of things that seem on their face to be very negative. Lord, grant that our faith may not fail and that we overcome every cross, every difficulty, and every darkness so as to embrace you and to thrive in your light. And these things we ask through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.